everybody, welcome back. Today's video is on keeping your croton happy. These are extremely fussy plants. They can drop their leaves all of a sudden just from a small change of environment. They can be quite hard to care for and I think that puts a lot of people off buying them. Um, I've had my five months now and it's been doing quite well so I thought I'd do a video on how I've been caring for mine. When I first bought my Croton, I did research into how to care for them, but there wasn't that many videos on them. So seeing as mine has done quite well, I thought I'd show you how I've been looking after it. So the first thing is Crotons love a warm, humid environment. They're native to Southeast Asia, so they don't like the cold and they don't like to be moved. So if you move it from a warm room to a slightly cooler room, they can drop their leaves. And I've even heard um, people, as soon as they get home from the garden center with their brand new croton, all its leaves drop off because it's gone into shock. Mine hasn't done that at all. It hasn't dropped any leaves. So I'm quite surprised and quite pleased. Excuse my birds in the background, they'll be chirping away. Um, so you can see mine here, it's quite big. When I first got it, it was less than half this size. So all these huge leaves on the top are all new. And as the time goes by, they will get brighter in colour. When they first come out, they're green. And then if they're in the right environment, in quite a bright spot, the leaves will gradually turn red, pink, purple, yellow, so they're slowly turning colour. Let me just check my notes, what have I got on here? Okay, um, the temperature for crotons need to be above 15 Celsius, I think that's 60 degrees Fahrenheit, all year round. So if you live in a hot country, you'll be fine putting them out in the garden for the summer, or all year depending on where you live but in the UK I wouldn't personally put this plant outside because at night time the temperature drops quite a lot so it definitely wouldn't be happy outside in the UK here. Um, they like humidity so you can mist them. I have gone through tips on, on how to raise humidity in one of my Calathea care videos but I'm going to do a separate video on how to raise humidity in the home because I've got quite a uh, quite a few tips for you but misting's quite good I always use filtered water when I'm misting my plants and watering now my croton lives in my kitchen and that is a east facing window and it gets morning sun and then it's quite bright for most of the day so it seems to really like that spot and all the leaves have been turning red which is really good um, let's see Oh yeah, they can flower apparently, but um, it's quite rare if you're keeping your croton inside. Um, if you keep it outside in like a hot country, it might flower. Mine hasn't flowered, but you never know, maybe one day it might. Obviously you can see the leaves. Well, it doesn't need to flower, does it? Because it's so stunning. The leaves are just striking. Absolutely amazing. Let me just show you the top view. It's getting a bit top heavy now actually, so I'm hoping it doesn't grow too much more. Um, soil mix, they like well draining, rich soil, so I'd recommend a mix of peat moss, compost and a bit of perlite mixed in. And I repotted mine about maybe a month ago and it's been really happy in its new soil. So that's the mix that I use. I found with crotons that when they're thirsty, the leaves will droop, so you know when they need a good drink. I just keep the soil evenly moist. Um, I don't let it completely dry out. I just wait till the top's dry and then I rewater it through, through the summer anyway. And I fertilize once a month with um, Baby Bio, which is just like a household um, fertilizer for house plants. Um, and it's been growing really well this summer. I'm really intrigued to see how it's going to do over the winter here in the UK because obviously once the central heating's on, 
the air becomes much more dry, um, the humidity will drop, but I'm going to try and keep the humidity up with um, like misting and I might even get a humidifier as well. Obviously in the winter you're not going to be watering your croton as much as in the summer. So the light requirements for crotons are bright, bright light, they like sun, um, apparently um, they require six to eight hours of sunshine every day for the foliage to be really really bright. Um, if it doesn't get enough light um, the foliage will become green so all the new growth will come out green and then it won't turn red or pink it will just stay green and then the old leaves will drop and then eventually you'll just end up with a green croton which isn't that exciting really so make sure your croton's in a bright spot make sure it's away from drafts any cold has to be warm has to be humid Apparently they're quite easy to propagate but I haven't tried that yet. If I do propagate this plant then I'll make a separate video. These are toxic to pets and people so keep it well away from your pets and young children. Make sure you don't overwater your croton because apparently they are prone to root rot. So just water it as and when. Throughout the summer you're going to be watering it more, throughout the winter not so much but just keep an eye on it. The soil's quite dry on the top, just give it a little water, um, make sure it's not sitting in water or anything like that. Another thing you can do to raise the humidity is to have a pebble tray underneath. I haven't done that with mine, but perhaps throughout the winter I might look at pebble trays. I thought I'd just give you a closer look at the plant. All the different patterns and colours on the leaves. big these top leaves are. So it seems as the plant grows the leaves get bigger and bigger which makes me think it's going to be really top heavy if it gets any bigger because it's already kind of leaning over a little bit. To check the humidity levels in your home you can use a hygrometer. Um, I got mine from Amazon and I'll put the link below because I had quite a few people asking me where I got it from and it's been brilliant so um, I highly recommend it. It's um, by Thermo, Thermo Pro or Therm Pro. This one. Anyway, I'll link it below. At the moment, generally, the humidity in my house is around 60%, which is quite good. Um, but it'll be interesting to see what it's like in the winter and I'll, um, I'll let you know how it goes. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd, um, I'd show you that because I had, I had people ask me about it, so there you are. I'll keep you updated as to how my croton's doing throughout the winter here in the UK. They can be extremely fussy, so I'm really hoping that the leaves don't all fall off. That would be quite sad. My mum says she's had one of these plants before and it didn't last very long. And she's good with plants, so... I'm no plant expert by the way, I'm just, I just seem to be lucky with plants, which is really nice and I've just, I've learnt so much over the last kind of six months about tropical plants, so I really wanted to just share my passion with everybody on tropical plants and just the care tips that I use which I have success with and Obviously I'll update you all throughout the year, how the plants are doing, I'll do updated tours, different um, videos on plant care, propagation, so keep an eye out for those. If you've got any ideas for more videos that I can do, just let me know. I do work full time, so I'm trying my best to get at least one video out once a week. Um, and at some point in the future, maybe I'll be able to make more videos but I really hope you're enjoying them and I really appreciate all the lovely comments and a big thanks to all my new subscribers. I never thought I would have so many subscribers in such a short amount of time. So Thanks ever so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope 
I gave some useful tips um, on caring for your croton. If you've got any questions, just leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. And I guess I'll see you in my next video. Take care everyone, bye.